Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a very simple uh, search box, something like this. Uh, we have a search box and we got two button down here. Okay, um, and this is just for the HTML and see there's there no, you know, algorithm, you know, walking behind yet. Yeah, it's just uh, the interface, the user interface. Okay, let's start. So uh, let's first open our uh, Visual Visual Studio Code. Uh, but you can do any, but you can code with any text editor you like. So the first thing you need to do is to create a index.html file, something like this. I have a file like this, and there's nothing there yet. Um, you should install. Um, you should install live server uh, so that we can uh, after you install it you can just click on the file and then click open with live server and there we have it okay so whatever we do uh, it will automatically uh, change make change it you know when you save it will make changes immediately you know we don't have to refresh Okay, let's let's start. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to uh, have a exclamation and tap. Then we have it. So we can start title search box page, for example. So for the body, um, oh, I want a navigation, a simple one from Bootstrap. So just go to Bootstrap navigation bootstrap nav bar okay um just grab any and i've copied this go back and pass okay there we have it and we click check so if you refresh you see something like this you know it, it doesn't show the correct to, co to correct that's it because you don't have the CDN yet. No, so we have to go back, get started, and copy this to see it at CDN from Bootstrap. No, go back here and uh, pass it below the head. Okay. Okay. Now we have a a normal one, no more navigation bar like this. Now, what else we need to do? Now we need to do the search engine and uh, the search box, something like this. Okay, let's get back to our text editor. The next thing you want to do is to create a div. We just name it as a search. Okay, so we have a div for search just search or whatever you want to call it um, in our div uh, we want an h4 with the word um, search machine or search engine okay and so that we have something like this yep the search engine is right here um, the next thing we want to do is to create the search bar so to do that, we should have input um, on placeholder search. Okay. All right. And then to button below, we will style is later, but for now, just HTML first. So we want to make a uh, break. All right, for the next line, we want to create to link a this one, okay, dictionary. The first button is to search for dictionary. Uh, the second one, we want scholar, for example, search for Google Scholar, for example, something like that. All right, now we good. Now we got. Next thing we're going to do is that we're going to style it. 
okay so remember um just show you what we have here right okay we have very um it's just html text now we let's style it so what you can do is just go to the after the uh, the link and uh, we got style okay remember that we uh, we wrap our search uh, h4 search bar and our button um, in a class called such so we're gonna style such so first we're gonna make it uh, center right we want to make our search bar center so uh, margin zero uh, in a row okay and then have a look nothing happened yet and then we want text align center okay so that for the search okay it's, it becomes centered like this and the next thing we want to do is that we want to style the uh, h4 search h4 you want to do it margin 50 pixel for the top zero for the right zero for the right 20 for the below and zero for the left okay and all right we you we see a gap here okay just push our search engine a little bit and then we want to style this uh, font a bit bigger so we're gonna make it font site 30 pixel okay yeah it's bigger right the next thing we want to do we will the style the search bar so we've got search input uh, type uh, text right so first i want the width to be 60 percent okay it was something like this the reason why i want it 60 percent in, instead of using pixel because uh, it will correspond with your uh, browser for example uh, small or large it's it will still occupy 60 percent of the uh, the browser so i think this is nice Okay, um, next thing we want is that uh, we want to make it have border radius. No, no, no. Radius. Uh, we want to have 30 pixel. Look. Yep, so far. So when you click in, you will see the outline, the green here, uh, the blue outline here. And this looks ugly, and we don't want that. We'll get rid of it. Okay, but just for now we will go on to oh yes we're gonna go ally and none um, okay that will will get rid of the ally when we click there's no ally highlighted right next thing we want to do is that we want to pad in left um, 20 pixel uh, pad in top Twenty pixel. Okay, and pad in bottom. Pad in bottom, ten pixel. Uh, so the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make it larger. Okay, we want to make it larger, top, bottom, left, and right. Okay. All right. The next thing we want to do is to make the you want it to set a border to solid one pixel in uh, pink example okay now now we have we have it and now we're gonna put this one up very nice so pad in top um, I think it's 50 pixel 
yep beauty pixel looks better on top all right um, the next thing we want to do is to style the to link all right we want to make it something look like the real button here uh, what we can do is to search uh, uh, and a which is a link all right background color we have hash fcmafa okay um mod margin top 20 pixel so background color which is i will set it here uh, let's save it okay no, we're not seeing very clearly yet which is going for a while now we want to set the width to 100 pixel Ally center, margin lab, margin lab is to separate the two button. Uh, okay, let's see what is the problem. Go back, search in A. ETN Okay All right So actually the background color is not totally correct We want to PFC M A F F A. Okay, we'll look back. Yep, it was something like this. Now we want. Now we want it will get darker if we hover over it. Okay, so what we can do is that um, so. A hover. Okay, so I'll set a background color to D6 EDF3. Okay, so let's see. So when you hover, it will get a blue background, something like this. Okay. Yep, so that's pretty much for the style. Um, um, nothing else. So we have just finished making a very simple search engine. Okay, in the next video, we're gonna have, we're gonna kind of start to add some JavaScript to make it uh, so that it can be more interactive when you, uh, when you search it will generate a result from dictionary uh, but for now we just keep it like this uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoy it